Now, this story is a tragic reminder of just how quickly a car can heat up in the hot sun. And of course, it's very important to be careful when you have a pet or even children or the elderly in your car. Yeah, you're used to this if you live around here. WIAT 42 Storm Track meteorologist Ted McInerney joins us in studio now to explain heat index and why it may be hotter than you think. Ted? Yeah, Jim and uh, Jamie, we always talk about how it's the feels like temperature and it's with the humidity. So let's break it down so you can understand what it really means. All right, so we have the temperature. That's the thermometer there. And we have the humidity, which is the moisture in the air. Now, the difference between the summer and winter is warmer air holds more moisture. And that ultimately means that it's slower to evaporate. And evaporation means that we're actually sweating. That cools our body. And it also evaporation gets rid of the heat. That means that our skin and body can't cool itself. So that means ultimately your body temperature goes up. So that is the heat dangers of heat cramps, exhaustion, and heat stroke. Those are very dangerous things. So the heat index scale, well, let's go and show you what it means. So if the temperature is 98 degrees and the relative humidity is 45, that means it feels like it's 109 degrees. And Mark Prater and I always show you the heat index with the feels like temperature. And it looks like it's going to be dangerously hot over the next few days. That's where we bring in Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater. And it's been uh, pretty hot out there. It's getting even hotter, right? Oh, absolutely. And great example there, Ted, and well described. And it can happen to even those of us who've grown up here all of our lives. I've been here over 40 years, and 